We have a massive sale going on on the Avengers and Spider-Man merch page in the link in the description down below, with t-shirts and hoodies being all the way up to 50% off, so be sure to check it out before the sale ends. Now, let's go ahead and continue with our Spider-Man update. There have actually been some pretty massive developments that have happened since last time we talked about the Spider-Man update yesterday, and the fact that Tom Holland's Spider-Man has actually been removed from the MCU following Sony not being able to make a deal with Disney Studios, therefore taking the character back. It was actually revealed yesterday that instead of a 50-50 revenue split, Disney proposed a 30-70 revenue split, with Disney asking for 30% of the profits as well as putting 30% of production into the movie, not 50-50 like was originally reported. Again, this being a deal that Sony ultimately declined. But there's not all bad news though, but take this with a grain of salt unfortunately. According to reports, Disney is hoping to talk with Sony Studios again, and hope to make an agreement before D23 so that they can announce that Spider-Man is back home at the expo. In addition to this, again according to reports, Disney is planning out a massive deal with Sony that won't just include two solo movies. According to a bunch of rumors, this would be a deal that both benefits Sony as well as Marvel Studios, with them wanting to sign a deal to have Spider-Man in the MCU for seven movies, including another trilogy after Spider-Man 3 that will follow his college career, as well as most likely appearances in Avengers 5 as well as 6. In addition to this, the current report indicates that Venom will also be introduced into the MCU and as a part of the MCU via the agreement. As far as the nitty gritty details about this agreement, it's unknown, and the revenue split is also unknown entirely. However, it is believed that currently Sony as well as Marvel Studios are in talks to get Spider-Man back into the MCU, and for one company to fold one way. But again, Disney is reportedly planning out a massive deal for Sony, one that will include up to seven movies including Spider-Man for the future. Yesterday on Instagram, Tom Holland actually posted a few pictures with Robert Downey Jr., with it stating, we did it Mr. Stark. And although admittedly this Instagram post could mean nothing, it is a blatant hint that Spider-Man may in fact be saved for the MCU. In addition to this, it was also revealed by Kevin Feige that Marvel was planning to make Spider-Man 3 all entirely Peter Parker centric, meaning they were going to take away a lot of the help that he's gotten in Far From Home as well as Spider-Man Homecoming, and truly put him on his own in the MCU to face a new threat. They were going to take away all of his resources and make Peter Parker the sole hero and sole help that he has in the third Spider-Man movie, which follows in line with the plot twist that we got at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, with J. Jonah Jameson and Mysterio revealing Peter Parker's identity as Spider-Man. But those are all of the major updates that we have. Again, I'll go over them very briefly. First, the original deal was not for a 50-50 revenue split, but rather 70-30. Also, according to reports, Ports, Disney is hoping to come to an agreement with Sony before D23 this weekend. And again, it's set to be a massive deal, with up to 7 movies, including Spider-Man possibly appearing in Avengers 5 as well as 6, as well as finishing off this current trilogy and perhaps making another one. And finally, according to even more reports, it is a possibility that Venom will be introduced as part of the MCU according to this agreement with Sony in order to get Spider-Man back, which would allow the MCU to use Venom, but the terms of that deal are currently unknown, as well as the revelation that the third Spider-Man movie would solely follow Peter Parker and his adventures after what happened with Mysterio in Far From Home. Anyway guys, that is just all the updates that we currently know, and I want to hear your thoughts on all of them. Do you guys think that Disney and Sony will come to an agreement before the D23 Expo comes to an end? Also, what do you guys think about these possible terms as for the agreement? And also, be sure to check out the link in the description below for the Marvel merch sale that is currently going on. Again, hoodies now up to half off. So if you're interested in buying, now would be a good time. Anyway, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching the video. The support on the channel means the world. Stay up to date on the channel for all things Spider-Man news related for Sony and the MCU, and have a great day.